this is Michaela OCD's Octopus, and I'm here today doing the August 2017 UK Glossy Box Unboxing. This should be the lilac -y purple Girls Just Wanna Have Sun Limited Edition. It just arrived this afternoon. I do have a sticker on the bottom that says I have a toiletry or medicinal aerosol inside, but that's fine. That's preferable to nail polish, which I'm not super into. So the boxes are usually £10 to like I think slightly less if you pay for like a full 12 month subscription in advance plus uh, £3.25 shipping. I got this bo month's box for free because I just happened to have finally accrued enough points to get a free box. And yeah there's the lovely cover and it has the same gold sheen font as the Hello Summer box and this very pretty colour. I think I prefer the hello, the colour of the Hello Summer box. Well, there we go, we've got our regular card on top. We've got matching sort of powder bluey lilac-y paper and a white ribbon. And there is my box there. It looks like this month we have sort of a, a lifestyle-y type product rather than a beauty product. And some interesting looking items in there. But I'm going to read the editorial letter and then we'll get on to doing each item one at a time. So, discover your August edit. This box, our second collector's edition for the summer months, says it all. Girls just want to have sun with a good dose of SPF, of course. As usual, we have all beauty bases covered for August from cooling off with a hair mask of all things to heating things up with simple makeup additions to enhance your look. Of course, our sunshiny outlook meant we couldn't resist giving you a treat with our your product haul. Inside you'll find a pretty Aloha bracelet from Purely. Purely. The perfect accessory whether it's bikinis on the beach or ice creams in the park. And that's from Evie, Evie Leatham, editorial director of Glossy Box. But let's go with it. And I think that's actually a bonus item. I'm looking here and I've got five items plus this little extra thing, which is nice. I think people have gotten annoyed when we've gotten things like little pouches, which is that you don't want it instead of a regular beauty item because the whole point of the subscription is five beauty items every month, which is getting a little extra, I think. Yeah, why not? So first off is, I think it's this thing here. This is the Sport FX Time Out Face Mist and Fix. This British brand was designed to come to the rescue of gym goers like us, and if it can withstand the gym, it can withstand the heat. This refreshing and soothing face mist works best as a replacement for your primer, keeping makeup in place and controlling oil while hydrating your skin. Mist onto the face before applying foundation or over makeup to refresh. The menthol essence has a cooling effect. It's also vegan friendly, so this is full size which is 30 milliliters that's about standard for sort of makeup setting spray pipe primer spray type things and its rrp is 5.99 which seems pretty affordable and spot fx we have had before i have the um double-ended travel sort of beauty brush that's flat on one side for bush it, buffing and a powder brush on the other and i actually really like that brush and yeah its directions are mist over the face under or over makeup and then even press into the skin with hands. So let's have a look at it. It's got sleek little packaging but nothing too fussy. And it says on the side here it's a handbag size misting spray bottle. Water, glycol, all the things you would expect, the menthol in the... Yeah it says it's paraben free, dermatologically tested, no petroleum, no mineral oils, uh, but for external use only and do avoid contact with eyes but you know you close your eyes when you use these sprays that's fine. It says it's lightweight, breathable, skin refresher, excellent for setting makeup. Well, that's cool. And yeah, I think that a lot of the point of this Sport FX isn't just that it's gym friendly, but they try and make all of their products do more than one thing. So this is like the uh, a face refresh spray, a lot like the Monu skincare one we've had before, but also a like a, a makeup setting spray. And there it is there. Okay, first free sort of, it is a plastic bottle but it's quite thick and sturdy feeling, it's not going to bend under pressure or feel like it's going to break in your bag, but very nice, looks good. There we go, makeup setting spray, and does it have a particular smell? I think it said it smells menthol. 
which it does, but it's really not overpowering actually, because I think you can, with the, the menthol and minty smells, they can be a bit much. But that's very mild and feels like it would be very refreshing. So that is the Face Refreshing Mist and Fix Spray. Cool. What is next? This is the, is it this thing here? Model launcher? Model launcher, right, yes. Savari Sun Bronzer. We had a sneak peek of this online, I believe. Summer makeup isn't complete without the perfect bronzer. This talc-free, minimal enriched formula looks as good on skin as it does in the compact. It's best when all the shades are swirled together and then buffed over the face. You want to sweep it on where the sun would naturally hit. Cheekbones, Bridge of the nose, forehead, chin, etc. So this is full size as well. You get 10 grams, which actually is a pretty nice sized pan. And its RRP is £16.50. So we do have a star there, which is best available advised price. That looks like it's probably just because this is an American brand, so they're having to convert from dollars, but that's fair enough. It does come safety wrapped. I think like a lot of the time when Glossy Box try to give one size fit all, fits all products, I am a little wary of bronzers and things like that because I'm quite pale. Bronzers usually have to be pale or I just you just look kind of dirty faced or you just look kind of strange and i suspect this might be a bit dark for me i like this sort of nice orangey shimmer tone this might end oh that's not too bad i'll have to see how it goes i will be giving this one a try and then you have the the darker patches there because i think in their in their sneak peeks they sort of showed people using little bits here or little bits there oh yeah sweeping all over the whole thing which could be interesting because while it might be too dark to use as a bronzer you could probably get away with using it as an eyeshadow and the sort of orangey corally thing could be a very sort of could try and use it on its own i suspect blending it together it might end up being a little too dark for me but we'll see and again i think this space could have been i think i said this about the lip balm we had last month. This face could have had a mirror in it, which is a bit of a shame, especially for a £15 compact. I think that's the only thing I would say off the top of my head, but we'll have to give it a go. We'll have to get back to you guys with my catcher. But there we go. Model launcher Safari Sun Bronzer. It is cute that it's patterned. Like, I like the cute patterned pa pattern products. I think everyone does. It's neat. It's animal print but we'll have to see how much it actually suits me. So what's next is the Val Valka Professional Ice Hair Mask Total Repair. This one-of-a-kind energizing hair mask has a cooling effect, which powers up the macadamia oil, making it even better hy at hydrating and taming hair. After shampooing, switch out your everyday conditioner for this once or twice a week. Gently massage the mask into damp but not soaking hair and leave it to be absorbed for three to five minutes, then rinse out with water water. Uh, this isn't full size, we don't have a full size sticker next to this item on the little thing, so this will be a deluxe sample size or a travel size. It is 100 millimeters, which actually seems alright for like, I think like when you get a big tub of hair mask it's like 200 millimeters, so this is possibly just a half size sample, it doesn't seem bad. And $14.99 full size, that also wouldn't be a terrible price. We have a couple of little extra stickers on here, I'm finding this white on blue a little hard to read but that just might be my eyesight. It does say it's cruelty free, it does say it's environmentally friendly and it has the same sort of um, application guide on there so I will be very interested to give this a go. Let's have a smell briefly. It has sort of a one of those traditionally sort of old-fashioned beauty products type smells more than anything. I think the only my, my gut feeling so far that I'm is that I'm having is um, the plastic on this bottle is quite thick. And I remember th worrying about that when we got the cow shed samples is with these size bottles, it's very hard to get the rest of the product out when the, the bottle is so sort of heavy duty to sort of kind of shake or push or squeeze the excess out. It always feels like a bit of a shame though. I suppose you could use um, beauty spatulas to get the last of it out. But it's a very thick looking cream inside. It looks like it'll be very moisturizing. Uh, and like when we get sun products during the summer, I do think a hair mask is a really nice product to get during the summer because it'll be one of those things that will be getting crispy, will be getting sun damaged, and this will be nice to sort of take care of that a bit. The next product is a Batiste project which is a bit strange and um, we just had a Batiste project like a box or two ago so this is a 
two-in-one dry shampoo and conditioner of vanilla and passion flower, which sounds nice. Uh, rethink the way you use dry shampoo. This two-in-one combines dry shampoo with conditioner to refresh your roots while conditioning the lengths. Make it particularly good for those with dry, coloured or curly hair from arm's length, spray all over the hair, going easy on the roots, massage it in, work through blah blah blah, how you use dry shampoo basically. So it says RRP is 449, that isn't for this, that will be for the full size 200 milliliter one because those are the Batiste ones are about a fiver. It's always a little disappointing when they list those prices on the cards because you can buy these size aerosols, the, the travel size ones, which are quite nice for yeah traveling handbags, taking on day trips, just having with you if you think you'll need a refresh. So it's, I don't think it's a terrible item to get again at this time of year and the little sized ones are just kind of cute and nice to have but they could put the price of the correct item on here. This is probably one to two pound I would guess but I will have the actual worked out version up above there uh, and yeah it's just a little nice dry shampoo. I'm not going to use it. I know what Batiste dry shampoos are like. It will be nice. I will use it. Perhaps a little dull, yeah, that we, we just got a Batiste dry shampoo. The, I'm still using mine, the stylist's one. Anyway, the last product that I have is a Rodeal product, which we have had this brand before as well. I've gotten an eyeliner off them, which is a lovely soft, proper black eyeliner that I've actually really liked. And this is Suede Lips intense matte moisturizing. This perfect summer lip shade contains hydrating vitamin E and the shade makes it easy to swipe on. With precision align lips with the soft berry shade then fill in. But for a softer look, apply the cream all over the lips and then blur the edges slightly with your fingertips. And this is full size. It's 2.4 grams. It looks about regular sort of pencil pencil crayon size. And this is RRP of £22, again with a little star, and that will just be sort of a price conversion best found at time. And this also came safety sealed, so I'm gonna try and see it because I'm blind today. And there it is there. That actually looks like a fairly dark sort of reddish berry shade, but I'll swatch it. Yeah, that is actually fairly dark. Probably still quite wearable. It's sort of a nudish, neutrally, but quite dark berry color, if that makes sense. I think it looks nice. I will definitely give it a go. And yes, it feels very matte, but very creamy as I was putting it on. So that's nice. Anything interesting to point out on here? It's the shade Big Apple and contains beeswax and other types of waxes and all sorts of other things. And if I remember rightly, Rodeal sort of do a lot of the same sort of good practices and things that other brands do. So there we go, we've got a full size Rodeal lip crayon, that's a matte. Uh, and then I will look briefly at this. So this is the Purely Explore Summer Collection. And yeah, it's a little um, bracelet. It says Aloha. And I think the point as well is that the color sort of matches the color of the box. Yeah, which is cute. And that's just a little extra that they've thrown in. So that was looking at each of the items one at a time. We've managed to do them all. And I'm going to go away and do a price breakdown and figure out. Um, I think we only had have the two items that I need to track down what their smaller price are and I will be back in just a second. And we're back. So I have worked out sort of the value of each individual item and then it's the, bo the box as a whole. As an aside, I have done a quick lipstick change to the Rodeal uh, Big Apple. And yeah, it's sort of a berryish, appleish colour. It actually feels very autumnal for a summer box, but I actually quite like it. I really like how it feels on the lips. I think the thing that it, it reminds me of a lot is the Lord and Berry lip crayon, where it's that sort of very matte but very comfortable and creamy feeling lip crayon. So I actually think I will really like this and keep reaching for it like I do with the Lord and Berry ones as well. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. So that's that. So the couple of items that I had to work out on. One was the Valkyr item, which I think is Spanish. To say made in Europe, made in Spain, yeah, that makes sense. And there are actually a couple of different sizes you can get of this. There is a 
300 milliliter sized one, which is what I suspect they've taken the value for, £14.99. The actual prices are in euros, but they've converted them and that changes all the time, so I'll be happy to take their £14.99. And then there is a much, much bigger one, which is a thousand milliliters or a litre, and that one is about £27. But I'll be quite happy to take the converted price of £14.99 for this, which does mean for 100 milliliters, which is one third of that. This is worth £4.99, so not a little bad size value sample. And I don't think that's like the most expensive hair mask you can get. It's a bit more expensive maybe than some other ones, but I'll see how it goes. I'll be interested to try. Uh, and then yes, the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I didn't particularly hunt for this flavour, the vanilla and passion fruit, but these size 50 milliliter little travel ones are about £1.50 and they come in a variety of flavours. So like I said, I really wish they wouldn't put the £4.49 on the card because that's not for this and it's so easy to go. The mini travel ones are usually about £1.50 so there we go, that's £1.50's worth. Uh, same as I have put on the little Pure band. It's quite cute and comfortable. It's elasticated because I wasn't sure if it was a sort of a rigid fabric and I'd have to loosen it or if it was just comfy and elasticated. It's quite comfy. The other thing I suspect you could use this for is a emergency hairband, which is nice. I suppose it might ruin the design. And if you were curious, these usually come in packs of three or four and they're usually about, nine uh, about £11.90. So for just one of these that's a value of £3.90 but I haven't included that in the total box value because it's not a beauty item it's just a nice little extra so you're getting £4 nice little extra elasticated bracelet hairband thing but the total box value for the five beauty items we've received that are the three full size, the face mist, the bronzer and the lippy, and then the two sort of travel size, sample size ones, the hair mask and the dry shampoo, came to £50.98, which is pretty nice. It's a good healthy box value. I think they've been being around £50 now for a while now. They seem to have hit their stride and sort of making the boxes all the same value and the products all the same for the most part for everyone. And I think it was a pretty nice box. I I think these four items on the top, I really like the look of. The bronzer one might end up being a lot like the banana powder last month. It might end up just being, a, it's not a product that's suitable for me, but that doesn't necessarily make it a bad product. But we will have to see when I get back to you about this box on the catch up. But that was the August 2017 UK Glossy Box unboxing. The girls just wanna have it sun. And I will see you again next time. Hello, this is Michaela or Studious Octopus and I'm here today doing the catch-up for the July 2017 UK Glossy Box. This is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. We're on the Wii, as you can see. Nice little bit of a Wii wear. And this is Michaela. This is Peter.